Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create payroll element in Oracle Exim. So what is the payroll element? An element is a building block of a payroll that helps determine the payment of base pay, benefit, absences, earnings, and deduction. It is a placeholder to contain values which will be used for the payroll processing like uh, benefits, absences, earning and deduction. For payroll, you define earning and deduction elements such as bonus, overtimes, earnings. In real world, elements serve a lot of pur purpose like uh, earning and deduction, salary, allowances, bonus, loans, uh, taxes like state taxes, country level taxes and benefits, uh, vacation, sick pays, paid absences, pension plans, then uh, supplementary mobile phones, computers, uniform provided by the company, expenses, uh, reimbursement. So this is the payroll element. Some elements are predefined. The predefined elements are specific to your country or territory. They typically include deduction for the tax and wages attachment. You can't make any changes to these predefined elements. And elements can be of two types, recurring and non-recurring. Recurring are the ones that are processed for each and every pay period. And non-recurring are the ones that are paid once in a while. For example, bonus is a non-recurring one and regular salary will be recurring element. So, element and payroll element models what are the element and payroll employment models in uh, payroll element? Payroll relationship level. Element to define at payroll relationship level are deductions such as tax, pension, and uh, medical care. They are processed only once in a run. And assignment levels are bonus and overtime earning. They are vary from the assignment to another one assignment to another assignment they are processed multiple times in a run once for the each assignment and employment term level under the employment term level we have a salary earning if they vary based upon the employment term they are processed multiple time in a run for each set of terms so let's move on to the application and create element for the payroll. On the home page, go to the top right of the page and click on the profile name, then setup and maintenance. And after that, go to the task area. Search for the task here. For uh, existing one, select the legislative data group and find for creating new one, click on the create icon. Here, select the legislative data. And select the primary classification. I want to create supplemental earning here. And if you want to select the secondary classification, you can select here, then select the category standard and then continue. Here fill your element name.
and uh, this is the default currency appear here if you want to change according to your legislative data group you can change here then uh, there are so many questions should every person eligible for the element automatically receive it so i select here no and what is the earliest entry date for this element then select the first standard earning date the date you will be hired is a standard earning date here then what is the latest entry date for uh, this element is a uh, last standard earning date you can select here latest entry date means the last entry for uh, this element then there is a standard rule at which employment level uh, should this element be attached so i select here assignment level then uh, does this element recur each payroll period or does it require explicit entry so i already informed you like uh, recurring are the ones that are processed for each and every pay period and bon uh, the non recurring are the one that are paid once in a while so bonus is a non recurring one so i select here non recurring then process the element only once in each payroll period so yes can a person have more than one entry of this element in a payroll so select no then process and pay element separately or uh, with other earning element process and pay with the earning so select according to you to your preferences here then click on next option here select the calculation rule what is the calculation rule uh, you can select according to your preference like flat amount factors percentage of earning hours and rate so i select here flat amount and what is the uh, default uh, period periodicity of uh, this element so select here our hourly or whatever you want then select the periodicity conversion rules so standard working hours rate analyzed then how do you want to want the work unit to be reported so select here hours and work unit conversion rule so if you want to select here you can fill here then some special rules are there is this element subject to re retroactive changes there are some also overtime rules you fill according to your preference here then click on the next option so this is the review of the information you just fill here then click on the submit so you can see here this is the element we just created so it is processing once it's got complete it's ready to use so let's wait for its completion so you can see here this is the element we just created so just click on it so once our element is created there the next step to create the element eligibility 
so click on the element eligibility use element eligibility to determine which people are eligible for an element to determine eligibility you select the criteria that people must receive entries of the element for example your enterprise provides company cars only to people in the sales or customer support department you create two eligibility records and use the department field to specify the eligible criteria select sales department for one record and customer support for the second report so fill the element eligibility name here and if you want to set any criteria here here you can fill or select the information and if you want to remain it's open for uh, every employee you don't you don't want uh, you don't need to select any information here so let's move on to the input values here fill the pay value or the periodicity is already selected here then here you can fill the by default pay value or minimum and maximum value so i select here $1 for hourly then click on the submit option so this is the element eligibility we just created for our payroll element so once our payroll element is created let's assign this element to the employee so for this we have to move on to the person management go to the home page under the my client group you find person management option here and search for the employee and then click on the action button click on the work area and then under the payroll you have element entry here click on the element entry and this us taxation is already assigned to this employee then assign to the element we just created click on the create icon and here select the element name so you can see here this is the element we just created and then click on the continue option so here you can see the details the pay value amount periodicity if you want to change anything you can change here or fill like state or anything you can fill here then click on the submit option so the element is 
assigned to this employee so this is how we we can create the payroll element and the eligibility of that element and assign to the employee i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching